This is a review on how to use the Kodak ZI6 software. Right there I have the Kodak ZI6 already plugged into my laptop here. As soon as you plug it in, what pops up is your software. See right there. Okay. What I normally would do is just close this out. Close this out. Go down to my go over here. Let's see this. I will go over here then. Click on it. There's your software for Kodak. This review is being done to help a person out on how to use the software with this Kodak ZI6. Okay, it pops up like this. This is your main screen. Left side, you will see. Browse my videos. Import. I go to browse my videos. Top one, you click, wait a little bit, this window pops up, there is a video I done, which you can see, thumbnail look, this was done earlier, due to I had to film something, so I can actually use the Kodak ZI6 as the presentation video review. Now, you can see the video there, thumbnail, that is on the one gigabyte SD card. So you will plug the camcorder into your computer, pop up menu, close the window app that pops up, click on your software, the install, you can see there, that is the Kodak ZI6 software, and there it is being used. Now, on the bottom here, you would see toolbar with different options. Once you find the video you want, if you took more than one video, you just select the ones you want to make a movie. I would just click on this one. I would then click on that. It records this MOV. Format, which is MPEG-2. Down here you have options. Make picture, import, media player, make movie, media converter, video email, upload to YouTube. I don't use none of them. I use this one right here. Sorry for the blurriness. Make video. Click on this tab. Right here, make movie. And you can see right here. Make movie. Just like the Windows Movie Maker. You get that strip, storyboard, clipboard, whatever you call it. There you go. I normally would just delete these, it's just about the camcorder or a little bit, I don't want this really, really, no need for to keep this. So I would just, come on now, make a long story short, not what I do now, I hate doing reviews, it's like giving up, well anyway, you don't need to keep those. That's nothing. That's the movie. You just click on the movie you want to do. You click on make movie on the bottom here, toolbar like I showed. And then when you're all finished on doing what you want to do, you just go to over here. If you want to view it, you review it first. Project, which I don't know nothing about. I don't want to start messing around with things. I'll go to save as. You can see here it's going to be saved 
as the name here, untitled. You can just just uh, spacebar that, name it whatever you want to name it. I'll just won't mess around with it. I just put it at CCC for whatever. This is going to be recorded, saved as. I go over here now, up here. You have an option. You can save it as an MPEG 4 7, 720p or VGA. If you record, if you save it as 720p, it's going to be high definition. Right there, you can see 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, 16 bit stereo, whatever, 128 kilobytes, H264 encoder. AAC codec on and on and on this is going to be high definition now go over here you would click OK and there you go it is saving this and I believe that I saved it to go to my desktop which will be over here someplace I imagine don't matter this is a review on how to use the Kodak ZS6 software that comes with the camcorder. Pocket HD camcorder, I would say. And you can save it wherever you want to save your finished product. Your finished video making project. It should not take long. That's how long it takes. Up to almost 7 minutes of recording. This is going to be okay. Very easy to use. Like I said, once you plug in your HDs, your Kodak ZI6, you get that menu pop up. You close it. You go on your desktop. You click on the software itself. You go up in the top where it says Browse Videos. Click on it, and in your menu, you find all your videos here. You select the ones you want, you can select one, select two, select all. Then you click on down here at the tab where it says make movie. You can edit, you can convert whatever, you can add music, I guess. You can also make your video into pictures. Down here you see all the options. You click on it, you save it as, and then go from there. Very easy to use software, very easy and handy. Let's see now, it is up to 7%. 8%. Takes a little bit of time. No matter what computer you have, you can have the best. I mean, you can have like a 4 gig heart, you can have a 4 gig RAM, a 2.3.5 processor. It don't matter. It's still going to be the same kind of, you know, percentage. I mean, to be honest, this is a powerful computer. I mean, 2 gigs of RAM, 160 hard drive. Back then, it's a 2.80 processor. Pentium 4, which you can see there. Back then, HP made them with Pentium 4 processors. This is a desktop replacement, by the way. Has a 2.80 gigahertz processor. Which I want to check something right now. I'll do it later. about it Kodak ZI6 making a movie on the included software which I am doing for a YouTube user and a subscriber to my videos I believe he's subscribed I'm not sure but he just wanted my help if I would take the time, if I could, to show a demonstration on how to use the software itself, which I'm doing. I'm up to almost nine minutes now. And I'm going to stop it now, but you get, you get the idea of how to use this now. Any other questions, let me know and I'll help you out. I don't want to go over my ten minutes because this video will not be able to be posted because of the time length YouTube allows. Any questions, get back to me. I'll answer them as quick as possible. But this is how you... You use the software. Thank you for watching.